All right, Morgan, can you give us a little recap of uh, how did Prairie du Chien do last year and uh, how did you guys end up? Um, last year we were, I think, over 500 and we made it to state. Um, we beat Richland Center in the regional final and that kind of made our season. It was really exciting. Um, that was the first time we made it to state in 20 years. Well, and that game against Richland Center, um, a lot of people, the professionals, didn't you know expect you guys to win that game. It was you you guys had played them twice before, right? And, yeah, and, and they lost big... by about five each time. So, so give us a little recap of that specific game. Um, we just knew that this was the one game that we win in the locker room. Before that, we said, yeah, they may have won conference, but we still have a regional champ title to win. And so it was, we were just really fired up to win, and it was just exciting. Okay, and you, you, you know, you talked a little bit. You made it to the state tournament. You played that first game against Altoona. Um, didn't, weren't successful in that game. But talk about, you know, the the process of going to state and what that meant to you guys as a team. And um, it was a really big thing for our school. It was, like I said, it was something that we hadn't done in over 20 years, and the whole town was just kind of excited. We had 6 a.m. practices for the whole entire week just to get ready for that game, and it was definitely an experience that will not be forgotten. Was it difficult getting up and playing that game early? Yeah, I'm not a morning person, so it was probably the <laughs> hardest thing. <laughs> okay, talk a little bit about how that then fuels your goals for this year. What are your goals for this year, both for you and your team? Um, this year we're going to be a pretty young team, so just to like get back on the level of varsity for the younger girls will, probably, will be a hard thing to overcome, but I definitely think that we have a chance to um, go to state again because we have a lot of talent and a lot of people are going to overlook us because we lost six seniors, but I think that we have more talent coming back. So. And talk about now that you know you did lose those six seniors, what does that kind of put on you as coming into a senior, you know, some of the new roles that you'll have to step into? Um, it's definitely going to be more difficult because I don't have like older girls to look on and I'm going to have to step up and be more of a leader and play more roles and make sure that the younger girls are ready to go every single game and just know that they're important too and that they can do it. Okay. Um, can you can you talk a little bit about uh, this coming year? Is there a sp specific game that you already are looking forward to and have circled on your calendar? Definitely Richland Center. They're always the game that we're all fired up for. Everybody comes to. Everyone's cheering for us because that's just our rival. Okay, and who's been the most influential person in your basketball career and, and why? Um, definitely my dad. He's always been there for me. And he just kind of teaches me worth ethic when I really don't want to do anything. And he's always just there to be positive. And then my mom is also too. She takes me everywhere and I wouldn't be able to do it without those two. Okay, Morgan, last question. Um, college, have you decided where you're going? Um, no, I am still looking. I just recently visited Wayne State and so that's kind of on my list, but I still have a few more college visits to go. Okay, keep us posted. Thank you.